It's mid-August, and as you can see, this is one of the best times to, to view pearl millet, ornamental pearl millet. Uh, it's really in its prime. So starting in early August through probably mid-September, you start to see the beautiful heads take shape, and so you see these range in variability in, uh, in the inflorescence phenotypes, and so we see different head lengths. Um, different colors. Uh, some have bristled, some don't. Some resemble uh, narrow spikes. Some are big bushy dog tail looking things. Uh, and others resemble cattails. And so there's quite a bit of variability. Uh, and then earlier in the season, pre-August, and, and even now, you can see that there's quite a bit of interesting um, variability within the, uh, the foliage of the plants. And so they have really nice canopy architecture. So they get pretty big and, uh, and bushy. Um, they fill up the landscape nicely. Uh, they have broad leaves, so, so typically a little broader leaf than miscanthus or switchgrass, more narrow leaf than, than corn. Uh, and they have really just this full range of colors. So we go from anywhere from bright uh, greens uh, to really dark purple like you can see around me. So, so Purple Majesty was really one of our first uh, ornamental pearl millet varieties uh, and it won an American Society of Landscape Architecture Award uh, really because it was a major contrast to, to what had been previously out there. Um, it's, it's a tall upright ornamental pearl millet variety. Uh, it's dark purple. Uh, has a, a main central spike and then uh, leaves coming off of that and so it's a fairly upright plant. And then we evolved into more, more dwarf types. Uh, so we developed Jade Princess, it was one of our first major uh, dwarf releases. It's bright green. Jade Princess is about half the height of Purple Majesty. It's uh, again bright green. It has this really beautiful sort of red rose colored head. Uh, it's a broader head. It's, it's heavily bristled and it's just really attractive and a nice contrast to Purple Majesty. And then our most recent variety that's, that should be available in the next year or so uh, is Copper Prince. Uh, and it's a, again, it's kind of a contrast in colors. It's a little high, a little taller than Jade Princess. Uh, has kind of a coppery color as the name implies. Uh, and it really has nice broad uh, bushy head, a really full canopy, uh, and the dwarf height, it, it really contributes a lot to, to the appearance of, of copper prints. Pearl millets are one of the primary grain crops in parts of Asia, where, really where it's hot and dry, and so pearl millet really has some very good drought adaptation characteristics. So the beauty of that is we don't really need to put down much supplemental irrigation after the plants germinate. And so typically we'll plant them when soil temperatures start warming up uh, late May, early June, uh, and then they'll, they'll, main, they'll grow pretty aggressively, they grow pretty fast. Uh, and so you'll see a lot of vegetative growth early on in the season and then mid-August you'll start to see the heads develop. And then again from mid-August through mid to late September you'll have these big beautiful heads like what you see in front of me.